The C15 is the world's first smartphone to pair a large 6,000 mAh battery to an 18 watt fast charger. Plus, it's also affordably priced at just below 7,000 pesos. Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with the Modern Creatures, and welcome back to another video. And if you haven't guessed, we're taking a closer look at the Realme C15. But before that, please do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. We did just hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for all those who subscribe. And now that's out of the way, let's get on with the video. Normally, we jump right in and talk about the phone's design, but Realme has a little something extra to offer for the packaging of this device. This is the limited edition Philippines exclusive Doodle Box designed by Vince Rico Hermoso, the winner of Realme's recent Doodle Box challenge. His original design came out on top of other entries and he was contracted to make a special one just for the C15. Looks pretty cool, right? At first glance up front, the C15 sports a pretty standard design. It houses a large 6.5-inch screen with a mini drop notch. But round the back, we see a new, less flashy design from the company that marries geometric shapes and gradient colors to provide a subtle and elegant look. Our unit came in marine blue, but it's also available in seagull silver. It has slightly raised ridges whose direction is dictated by the segments in the design. Because of this, viewing the phone from different angles gives off a nice visual effect. The ridges also provide additional grip so it doesn't easily fall off your hands. And thankfully, you won't have to worry about smudges as the back is designed to repel fingerprints. At the center, we see a fingerprint scanner and the currently trending square-shaped camera module housing the C15's quad camera system. For buttons and ports, we can find the volume rocker and the power button on the right, while we have the dual SIM and micro SD card tray on the left. Moving down to the bottom, we see a micro USB port for charging, 3.5mm jack, and speakers. Now, some of you may react negatively that it still uses a micro USB port for charging, but save those thoughts for later when we discuss the charging part. One of the first things you'll notice when you take the C15 out of the box is its heft. The device carries some weight and thickness to it due to the large capacity battery it's holding inside. It's not uncomfortably heavy and the thickness just needs some getting used to, but what's important though is that it still fits in your pocket. As we mentioned earlier, the Realme C15 houses a 6.5-inch screen with a mini drop-notch design. It sports narrow bezels all around apart from its chin, which is just slightly larger than the rest. The form factor leans towards the taller side of the spectrum with an aspect ratio of 20 to 9 and an HD plus resolution of 1600 by 720. When watching videos, this means you may have to zoom in and crop some of the image if you want to enjoy the full screen experience. Colors are bright and saturated, and there's enough contrast to make images on the screen pop out. The screen's large size proved to be useful when we had to work or type on it. We were able to appreciate the 88.7% screen-to-body ratio when we needed that extra space. The C15 is equipped with a quad camera setup consisting of a 13-megapixel main, 8-megapixel ultra-wide, 2-megapixel black-and-white lens for added clarity, and a 2-megapixel retro lens used for depth information. This is actually the first device in the company's C-series to sport this much cameras, and at its price point, it's definitely an enticing offer. Cameras on the C15 produce rich and bright images when there's an adequate amount of light and offers 4 times zoom for getting closer shots as well. The device also supports face detection autofocus, which makes focusing faster and more precise. Its ultra-wide angle camera does indeed capture a lot more with its 119 degree field of view. Additionally, the C15 cameras also feature a nightscape mode for low-light photography. With it, the cameras take several photos of different exposures, take the best part of each of those photos, then combine them to make one whole image. Around the front is an 8-megapixel selfie camera housed in its mini drop notch. It has a couple of features including AI beautification, HDR mode, portrait mode, and pano selfie for taking wider shots. It's a pretty standard setup that gives you clear selfies when in bright light, but pretty average ones in low light. Overall, the C15 cameras, in the right circumstances, can produce quality photos that you'd be proud to upload without edits. On the inside, the device is powered by a MediaTek Helio G35 processor matched with up to 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. Expandable up to 256GB via microSD. The Helio G35 is the best you can get in this price segment. And being a game-focused processor, it can take a fair amount of load before you notice drops in performance. As expected, it fares well on popular titles like Mobile Legends and Asphalt 9. Longer sessions on the device do cause it to warm up a bit, but not to an uncomfortable level. Day-to-day -day tasks are handled with ease. We were able to surf the web, 
play games and play music, all with no noticeable hiccups. As for audio, the sound from the C15 is average. It's clear and loud enough in terms of quality, but the speakers are placed in an awkward position. Having them on the bottom right makes it more likely to be blocked by the palm when using it in horizontal orientation. This causes muffled sounds when in use, but thankfully there's a 3.5mm jack for headphones to remedy this problem. The Realme C15 runs on Realme UI, which is based on Android 10. Custom fit for Realme's identity, system icons and colors are bright, saturated, and bring youthfulness to the overall skin. A couple of features the Realme UI brings are dual-mode music share, which allows the use of both wired and wireless headphones at the same time, and dark mode. Additional features include three-finger selected screenshot and personal information protection. Now, here's what the Realme C15 is all about. As mentioned earlier, it packs a 6,000 mAh battery with support for 18W fast charging. To extend the battery life even further, it's built with deep software optimization that offers features such as App Quick Freeze and Screen Battery Optimization. App Quick Freeze is able to identify and freeze less frequently used apps to reduce power usage. Screen Battery Optimization, on the other hand, adjusts display effects to increase battery endurance. Additionally, there's Sleep Standby Optimization that preserves battery when the device is not in use. It also has the usual power saving mode and even a super power saving mode that limits the phone to the 6 most widely used apps. We put all these features to the test by first charging the phone to 100%, then playing a video on YouTube on Wi-Fi, then just letting the battery run out. It was able to last an impressive 16 hours of continuous playback before the battery hit 1%. That's pretty impressive. It's true that it doesn't charge as fast as a USB-C, but considering its price, the compromise is pretty much expected. Charging time from 0 to 100% took us almost 4 hours. It's pretty obvious the company spent some time developing the battery features and how they will all come into play for the C15. Having this much battery life makes the C15 a great choice for power users on the go or for those who are simply always on their phones. Whether you're working or studying, the C15 relieves you of worrying about your battery life. Also equipped with reverse charging, you can ditch your power bank and travel lighter since the C15 can also charge other devices like your smartwatch or another phone. And as always in our reviews, the Modern Creatures aims to find special features in a device that make it worth having. Something that would make it stand out from its competitors. And for the Realme C15, it would undoubtedly be its large capacity battery coupled with fast charging. At its price point, the Realme C15 already offers a lot, but to offer this large battery is really one of its biggest assets. With school and work migrating online because of the pandemic, it really is a great feature to have because you can dedicate yourself to your work or studies for a longer period of time without needing to be hooked up near a wall socket. The Realme C15 is priced at 6,990 pesos for the 4GB and 64GB variant starting August 21. The 3GB and 64GB variant is priced at 6,490 pesos and will be an online exclusive on Lazada starting August 20. The special edition Philippines exclusive doodle box is available for the 3 plus 64GB variant and is exclusively sold online. It is available on August 20 and during the Realme Super Brand Day on August 28. And there you have it, our review of the Realme C15. Now tell us, if you had a phone with this much battery, what would you do with it? Gaming? Movie marathon maybe? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, please do visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Kevin, you're with The Modern Creatures. Thanks for watching.